vlog. I feel like death. I like actually can't even walk, but um, we're gonna thug it out. It's gonna be good. We have a really busy day today. Um, I have to go to second period for my internship class. And I have to go to the gym and help make the new circuit. And then... Oh, oh. And then Kyle and I are going to practice our dance. And then I have speech class. Office aid. Calculus. Which, we're learning about limits. And Mr. Terahide said that's like the hardest thing. It was me a little nervous. Just a little bit. Then we have the pep rally. Super excited for that. Should be fun. And the homecoming parade. And then homecoming. It's gonna be a good day. Super busy, but super fun. Hey guys, today we're having my favorite breakfast. It is gluten-free toast, peanut butter, bananas, and two eggs. And then also, my Stanley filled up with my lemonade. Okay, super excited. Ooh, email. Oh. Mrs. Oswald, don't forget, Harvest Ball, September 30th, you should come. Hey guys, so we're back in study hall today, me and Octavia, huh? slaying our opposite duties. So I have a little, little story time for y'all. So, here's what happened. So I was going to go to the bathroom, right? And it was really awkward. So I went to the bathroom and I was listening to this video that one of my friends sent me. So I was just like standing here. I'll give you a little bit So pretend that this is the sinks. So I'm just like standing right here, mind my own business, trying to listen to my phone, okay? And then some girl walks in, and I'm just standing here. So it was really awkward, because I'm just awkwardly standing there. So then I pulled a paper towel out of a paper towel dispenser to like make it look like I wasn't just awkwardly standing there. And then she went into the bathroom, so I was like, okay, well, I still have to pee, but this girl's in here now, and it's going to be awkward if I go to the bathroom after I just got paper towel. Yeah, I know. I was overthinking it, but it was still just awkward. So then I went upstairs to the bathroom, and I was like, okay, this is the perfect game plan. No, it wasn't. So I was just up there, and there were three other people in the bathroom, and it was really awkward because I have a really shy bladder, and I just drank, like, two Stanleys. So I had to pee a lot and my shy bladder was just not having it. So yeah, it just, it wasn't good. So that's my little story time. Time for my daily dance break. Ooh, Octavia, drop a beat, sing a song. I don't have one. <laughs> uh, okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Q-R-S-T-U-B Double Q-S-Y-A-Z I'm not even gonna lie, this is the most stressful moment of my life. So, we just had the pep session, and I'm a cheerleader, a dancer, and I'm on homecoming court, so I had to do everything, which is like, great opportunity, super happy about it, but I'm like, freaking stressed. It's so hot. I was driving, I think I broke my nose. It really hurts. There's like a little bump. Um, I was driving and I was coming out of the school and I made a sharp left turn and I looked and I was like, okay, there's no cars coming, but cars always park there. And then a car came out and I almost hit the car and I'm about to cry and they swerved, but it was fine. And now I have to go decorate the homecoming flow and I'm actually at my breaking point. So yeah, bye vlog. I'll keep you up. Vlog. Oh, I forgot to vlog during the parade. Um, I'm sorry. I'll probably insert some pictures in the vlog. But look at our signs. I'll show you a better angle later when I'm not driving. But they look really good. Mrs. Daughtry did them and apparently Mrs. Carmichael helped. But they look so freaking good. Um, yeah, great experience, honestly. I hit five kids in the head. That was an accident, though. I feel kind of bad. Um, one of them started to cry. But it's fine. It's fine. We're absolutely thriving. I know I was really stressed in the last clip, but it's not that serious. It was never that serious. Honestly, just live life. And I was thinking about it, cause like, I remember when my sisters did this when I was like just a little itty, itty bitty gnat. And the fact that it's me now, like it's my turn, absolutely wild. Oops, my bad. But 
yeah, it's just crazy that I'm, like, actually living in, like, what I've looked forward to for so long. So, no time to be stressed. I just want to take full advantage of it and just, great day. Okay, guys, so getting ready for homecoming. First step is makeup. Uh, don't mind, my under eyes are green, but it's because it gets rid of the purple. Okay, oh, guys, did. makeup, done. Vlog, I have so much to update you on. So, we had homecoming. Um... Yeah, it was really good. We lost by, like, 21 points. So, that was rough. But a couple of boys had really good games. Trevor had a good game. Jason had a pretty good game. So, all that was good. Um, homecoming court went really smoothly. It was super good. The homecoming king was Grant. And I was the homecoming queen, which I really didn't expect. So, that was a really cool surprise. Um, Grant was eating popcorn out of his crown, which was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. But yeah, it was just a really cool experience. Super exciting. My whole family was there, so it was a lot of fun. And then after the game, I was so hungry. So you already know that I went to Taco Bell and ate like four tacos because it deserves some good food, you know? It was a long week. And then I chowed down on some dirt pudding because, like I said long week but yeah so now i'm gonna go to bed night vlog so i'm running late per usual i'm sure you're not surprised by that at this point but today is the founder's day parade and i'm in it for cheerleading and really it's a series of unfortunate events so i forgot to wash my body liner last night which is this part thing under the shell and um so I washed it this morning and it actually didn't dry in time so it's soaking wet right now and it's really cold so that's fun um we were supposed to bring a bag of candy forgot about that so here's this half opened bag of candy that I'll be using love left love um yeah I'm supposed to be there in nine minutes so maybe I'm not as late as I thought but Still, I wanted to be early today. Clearly, some of y'all don't know what a freaking stop sign is. So maybe don't almost T-bone me. Go back to drive the We made it here. We're on our little float. Meg, say hi. Hi. Who am I saying hi to? The vlog. Hi, vlog. Yeah. Hi, vlog. We're back. Blaine's here. There's an eagle or something. Okay. Um, comment. You said it late. Late. I was worried about being late, but it's 3 04 and we're still not moving. No. So I was, in fact, not late. Um, yeah. Okay, so we're mid parade. We ran out of candy we like no candy. an hour ago. Um, um, and there's still a lot, a lot more people. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Um, it's fine. It's so fine. It'll be okay. We're serving. Another adventure of Natalie having a mental breakdown while driving. Um, Founders Day was really busy, guys. I was doing my best, and I was focusing, and I was looking for all the cars, and I was gonna turn left, but there was a big long line of cars, and the car tried to go around me, and I was like, Bessie, there's not room for you to go around me, so I decided to just go straight, but she was still trying to go around me, and I didn't know what to do, and the other car was coming towards me, and I was like, babe, I don't know what to do. So then, I just started to go straight, and then the guy started cussing at me, and I was like, just leave me alone. Like, I'm just, I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. So, now I've just been turning on roads and hoping for the best because maybe I'll get home eventually. But I'm way out on the south side now and y'all know where I live, some of you. So, <laughs> I don't know what to do. No, because the way that I'm seriously about to cry because I was just sitting in traffic for like 10 minutes. And if you know anything about Wabash, we don't have traffic. Oh. All the people are so mad and I can't do anything about it. Like, I'm sorry that we're not moving, but what do you want me to do? Rear in the car in front of me? Like, I can't go any faster. I'm finally almost home. And guys, I just, I can't be doing this. Next time I go to an event, I'm not driving. Somebody else is gonna have to take me because I just physically cannot do this for my own mental health. I also think I might have ran a red light on accident. 
because I was just following the car in front of me because like you know traffic and he was going so I was like okay well I'm going but I'm pretty sure it was red but we're just gonna ignore that if you are law enforcement you didn't hear that so yeah